Hello, and welcome to Footy Truths. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the man behind one of the most exciting football clubs in the English Premier League, Brighton and Hove Albion. How did Tony Bloom take his boyhood club from a struggling lower league team to one capable of competing towards the top of the Premier League in just a few years? Well, that is the truth we hope to uncover here today. Tony Bloom, also known as The Lizard, is a British businessman and the current chairman of Brighton and Hove Albion Football Club. Bloom is a well-known professional gambler and has made a fortune from his betting expertise. But he is not just a gambler. He is also a football fanatic and has been a supporter of Brighton since he was a child. In 2009, Bloom became the majority shareholder of Brighton, and since then, he has been the driving force behind the club's success. He took over the club when they were in League One, the third tier of English football, and within just eight years, he had led them to the top flight. So, what is the secret behind the rise of Brighton and Hove Albion Football Club? How did Tony Bloom manage to transform a struggling lower league team into one capable of competing at the top of the Premier League? The first thing that Bloom did when he took over the club was invest heavily in its infrastructure. He understood that in order to achieve long-term success, the club needed to have a solid foundation. He invested in a state-of-the-art training ground, a new stadium, and modern facilities for the players and staff. But Bloom's vision for the club went beyond just infrastructure. He wanted to create a winning culture at the club, and for that, he needed the right people in place. He brought in a new manager, Gus Poyet, who had experience in both playing and coaching at the highest level. Under Poyet's guidance, Brighton began to climb the leagues, and in the 2010, 11 season, they won promotion to the championship, the second tier of English football. However, Bloom's ambition did not stop there. He wanted the club to be playing at the highest level, and for that, he needed a new manager who had experience in the Premier League. In 2014, he appointed Chris Hooton as the new manager of Brighton FC. Hooton had previously managed Newcastle United and Norwich City in the Premier League, and he brought a wealth of experience and knowledge to the club. Under Hooton's leadership, Brighton made it to the championship playoffs in the 2015-16 season, but narrowly missed out on promotion. However, the following season, they finished second in the championship and secured promotion to the Premier League for the first time in the club's history. But it wasn't just the investment in infrastructure and the right people that led to Brighton's success. The Lizard's expertise in gambling and statistics also played a vital role. He brought in a team of analysts to help the club make data-driven decisions when it came to transfers and player recruitment. This approach helped the club to identify undervalued players who had the potential to become stars. For example, Bloom was instrumental in signing Glenn Murray, a striker who'd been released by Crystal Palace and was considered past his prime. But Bloom saw something in Murray that others didn't, and he was proven right when Murray went on to score 23 goals in the 2016-17 season, helping Brighton secure promotion to the Premier League. Recent times have seen the likes of Ben White, Leandro Trossard, Moises Caito and Kaioru Mitoma all become highly sought after. All of these players were virtually unknown prior to signing with the Seagulls. Through gambling, Bloom understood the importance of risk management and applied this principle to the club's financial decisions. He made sure that the club operated within its means and did not overspend on transfers or wages. This approach helped Brighton to maintain financial stability while still competing at a high level. The club's transfer strategy focused on signing young players with potential and developing them into top players. This not only helped the club to build a strong team, but also ensured that they had assets that could be sold for a profit in the future. In addition to his success with Brighton, Tony Bloom has also had a significant impact on Belgian football through his ownership of Union St. Gilles. Bloom's investment in the club has revitalized the historic Brussels-based team, which was once one of the most successful clubs in Belgian football, but had fallen on hard times in recent decades. Bloom acquired a majority stake in Union St. Gilloise in 2018, with a vision to restore the club's glory days. He invested heavily in the club's infrastructure, including its training facilities and stadium, and brought in a new management team to oversee the club's operations. 
Bloom's approach to running Union St. Gilloise is similar to his approach with Brighton, focusing on long-term sustainability and data analysis. The club's transfer policy focuses on identifying and developing young players with potential, such as Kaoru Mitoma, who spent the 2020-1-22 season on loan at the club from Brighton. However, Bloom has also brought in veterans to help the team grow, such as 31-year-old Christian Burgess, who was signed from Portsmouth in 2020. Under Bloom's ownership, the Belgian outfit has enjoyed a remarkable turnaround. The team won the Belgian second division in the 2019-20 season, securing promotion to the Belgian Pro League for the first time in 48 years. The following season, the club finished sixth in the league exceeding expectations and qualifying for the Europa Conference League. They now compete regularly at the top of the table, challenging the likes of Club Brugge and city rivals and elect. In conclusion, the rise of Brighton and Hove Albion is a testament to the vision and leadership of Tony Bloom. He has transformed the club through investment in infrastructure, his focus on data analysis and his commitment to financial sustainability. As Brighton continues to compete at the highest level of English football, it is clear that Tony Bloom's legacy will live on for many years to come. That is all for today's video. Please like and subscribe for more and remember to stay true.